Despite all you've probably heard by now about the Citizens United decision, here are five things you probably didn't know. Number one, during oral arguments, a Supreme Court justice asked that the law the government was defending would ban certain books. When the government's attorney admitted yes, a gasp fell over the courtroom. And not an excited birthday present, oh, you shouldn't have gasped. More like the kind of gasp you make when you learn that Ray Lewis and his friends are mad at you. The shocked justice finally broke the silence by saying, that's pretty incredible, and it would have been. Number two, Citizens United didn't rule that corporations and unions are people. The Supreme Court's decision in Citizens United didn't declare that the UAW had two arms or that Citigroup has two eyes, although technically it does. What it did do was uphold the notion that people maintain their rights when they assemble. The reason a union office can't be broken into isn't because doors have rights, it's because people do. The reason the government can't search through a business's files without a warrant isn't because paper has rights, it's because people do. Inanimate objects don't have rights. Yet. Number three. The Supreme Court's decision doesn't allow unlimited campaign spending for the first time in US history. In fact, 26 states have been allowing unions and corporations to spend as much as they'd like on political ads for a while now. You probably know them as the 26 states that exploded. But seriously, Utah and Virginia allowed unions and corporations to give unlimited amounts of money directly to candidates even before the Citizens United decision, and they just happen to be the two best managed states in the union according to a recent study. Number four, unlimited spending won't allow corporations and unions to buy elections. It's not like every time you see a commercial for pants, you just immediately go out and buy pants. Man, those pants look good. But if you think all people are sheep, maybe you don't need new laws. Maybe you need new friends. Number five, People predicted this would be the worst Supreme Court decision ever, but we just had an election cycle and somehow the outcome didn't quite reach the level of Dred Scott or Plessy v. Ferguson. And if it was supposed to be a great day for rich folks, nobody told that to Sheldon Adelson. I can think of a few movies I wouldn't mind banning, but the fact of the matter is, whether it's a book or movie, speech is good, and more speech is better.